Next question. Uh, Adam, you'll be first on this one. Do you favor sending some of the county sales tax to municipalities in the county? If so, how would you go about that apportionment? Yes. So, um, <laughs> yes, uh, that is what I'm running on, is uh, sharing the sales tax with the municipalities right now. The county in the 2020 budget, they have um, $12.3 million that they're estimating to be coming in in sales tax. Um, right now, approximately 40% of that is rolled into the operating budget. I, I know Josh said, you know, that's the county's job, right? They can't get off it. Well, it's time for the county to go to rehab because we're going to get off the sales tax sooner or later down the road. We can incrementally make that go away. But in the meantime, we're going to be sharing 25% of that with the municipalities. There's a plan in place that we can make that happen because that means there's still that 60% out there. That doesn't put a hole in our budget. That's new money coming in every year. And right now, the county's using the sales tax as a slush fund. And that's going to stop as soon as I step in there. So, yes, we'll take that 25%. And then as the municipalities use that, based off their equalized value, that's where we get a little bit boring with this stuff, is those numbers. They're going to use, if we're going to have a plan in place, and they're going to use those for their roads. Because so we've been here for a while now. Every minute of the, the time we're here, it, seem like we're talking about roads. If it's an important subject in this county, then, yeah, and we have the ability to speed up each municipality's ability to fix up their roads with this sales tax, then we should do so. <coughs> Thank you. Josh? Thank you. This is, this is a phenomenal opportunity for a great discussion and a good debate. And quite frankly, I hope it's what makes the determination of this election. My opponent throws around the word slush fund. That's what somebody who runs a $160,000 budget, $160,000 budget would say. Not a $150 million budget. That $5 million that was quoted just a moment ago, did you know that that $5 million was reduced in property taxes over the time that we've had the sales tax? Did you know that your property tax levy, the amount that we collect, has been reduced $5 million? Did you know that when I became county administrator six and a half years ago, I passed a budget that reduced the amount we collect by a million dollars? That's not a slush fund. That's property tax reform in action. Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, conservative think tank here in the state of Wisconsin has filed claims against two counties who have created sales tax. There's a lawsuit pending right now in Brown County, and we're waiting on the results of that lawsuit. The, the lawsuit basically argues that state law requires sales tax be used to directly reduce property taxes. We've done that. We'll continue to do it. It's not the five million that there's another seven and a half million in sales tax. Maybe that's the slush fund. Could be seven and a half million, that's a lot of money. Is it the three and a half million that goes to our fully funded road plan that'll fix every road in every county highway in Washington County from now to 2050? Is that the part that that's the slush fund? Is it the half a million dollars that's going to the radio system for the next several years to fund a radio system in Washington yeah. County so that municipalities don't have to pay for it? Thank you, Josh. I've got is it a different you know. part that's a slush fund? Next question. This is about lowering property tax folks. Josh, you'll be first on this one. What are your plans for upgrading the Samaritan home? One of the highest priorities for the county is public safety. And public safety isn't just law enforcement. Law enforcement is a critical part of public safety. But so is mental health. So is senior care. Have any of you ever had a situation in your family where your elderly father or grandfather was struggling at the end of life? maybe slightly demented or have struggling with Alzheimer's and didn't have anything left, all of their assets were gone. That's what we deal with at Samaritan. That's why nursing homes exist at the county level. 
we need to take a real serious look at what the future of that facility looks like. It was started back in the 1960s, right after Medicare and Medicaid were established. The Great Society, Lyndon B. Johnson, you remember all that stuff from history class? We built a facility to replace the poor farm. You want to know about the poor farm? Talk to Herb Tenney, he'll tell you about it. He lived across the street from it. We replaced that facility and it's grown massively. Now we have sections of CBRF and RCAC that compete directly with the private sector. We need to have an honest discussion in this county about what, what the role of the county is. When grandpa or your dad is at the end of life, doesn't have any assets anymore, and is losing it, how are we gonna treat that person? My mom and dad taught me to love your neighbor. I believe strongly in that. This is a public safety issue. We love these people. We need to find a way to help them. But we gotta do it in a way that is careful of not competing directly with the private sector at the same time. Thank you, Josh. Adam? Well, uh, growing up in Kewaskum, uh, we would, uh, we, when we were kids, we'd always play a game. We'd go into each other's backyards and uh, play what's called night games. And one of those games uh, was called Kick the Can. And uh, this is like a nice little metaphor here. We can always kick the can just a little too far down the road on Samaritan. And I'm telling everybody right now that Samaritan isn't something that's going to go away. We're we need to come up with a solution. Right now, the county has a plan, or not a plan, I'm sorry, they're doing a study. And within that study, what we have to wait and analyze the study. And then that's where we're gonna come up with that plan down the road. Uh, right now, I believe there's about $5 million in debt on Samaritan, and should we cut that off right away, then that would just go on to the levy. So yes, it's a very difficult scenario that we're in. Um, you know. I, Hear about mental health being a really big issue in the county and public safety and mental health and every time we're going to say that i'm, I'm, I'm just going to ask why, why are we putting up a barrier uh, to our parks with the park being if mental health is such a such a focus that we're on right now hey the one thing in the county that really helps combat <coughs> mental health in our community and, and we're going to put a barrier for entry into that i realize we're talking about samaritan but we're going to talk about that then I'm going to mention it. Thank you.